Hi guys, welcome back to another moving vlog. Today is Monday, October 2nd, and I guess today is like officially moving day because I have movers coming this afternoon to bring all of my stuff that's currently in my storage unit over to my new apartment. So excited to have all my furniture here and I can actually stay here tonight since I'll have my bed. I am pumped. The movers are supposed to come to the storage unit between one and three. And then I have the loading dock at my new apartment reserved from three to six. So everything should be done by six at the latest, but hopefully it'll be even quicker. But right now it's a little bit after 10 a.m. I went to Trader Joe's this morning and did a massive grocery stock up. So I'm gonna do a haul in a second, but I'm basically starting from scratch in terms of Food since I tried to use up all my food before I moved out since I didn't know how long I would be living at home so I literally have so much that I got also there's one Trader Joe's location in New Jersey that sells alcohol because otherwise grocery stores in Jersey don't sell alcohol so I went to that one so that I could stock up on some wine and such because obviously I have this beautiful wine fridge so I need to fill it so let's do a haul of everything that I got I need my boxes of kitchen stuff that are in storage to be delivered because I have all my like organizers for the pantry and the fridge in there so we're gonna have to put these groceries away temporarily and then reorganize them later here's what's in bag number one I got two bottles of oat milk coffee creamer, some honey crisp apples, it is apple season, a lemon, box of butter, blackberries for my morning yogurt bowls, and a bag of white cheddar popcorn. Second bag, also I bought this bag today because I got so much stuff and I needed more bags, but I really like the insulated bags from Trader Joe's. They just fit so much stuff and they're easy to carry because you can put them on your shoulder. Got half dozen eggs, mayo, blueberries, some salmon to make for dinner this week once I have my air fryer back. Loaf of bread. Two containers of vanilla yogurt. I got three overnight oats. They changed the packaging of these. I got two almond butter chia ones and one vanilla. Got some ketchup, chicken sausage. This is the sweet apple flavor. A box of brown rice. I always like to keep this stocked in my freezer. Some almond butter stuffed pretzels three of these misfits bars shout out to sierra she put me onto these but i haven't tried the purple flavor yet this is chocolate caramel but i did try the pink one it's chocolate cookie butter and it was so good it honestly it tastes like a candy bar so i just got those to have for snacks next bag got some green beans I've never tried these before. It's a frozen meal. It's the Korean sweet potato glass noodles and vegetable stir fry. I wanted to get some frozen meals for this week just because I don't know how long it's gonna take me to unpack all my kitchen stuff. So I don't know like where all my pots and pans and everything are. So I'm probably gonna make this for dinner tonight. Also got bean rice and cheese burritos, pork gyozas. Also my fave, I got the gnocchi. Sorrentina, so good. Got my favorite granola, some pasta, and two boxes of my favorite curled couscous. Last couple of food things are just some pantry essentials. So I got olive oil spray, honey, coconut aminos, which is basically soy sauce. I always use this when I make my air fryer salmon. Agave, peanut butter. And then lastly, I got these vitamin C little vitamin tablet things. I always take extra vitamin C, especially during this time of year when it's like cold season, just for a little immune system boost. And then last but not least, we got some alcohol. I just got Aperol to keep on my bar cart. And then I got some wine to try. So I got a red, this is the bread and butter Cabernet. Also got this Prosecco. I think this is a Trader Joe's exclusive brand. We'll give it a try. This was like $6, so I'll have to make an Aperol spray. And then I just got two Sauvignon Blancs to keep in the wine fridge. That is everything. This was quite a haul, so I'm gonna put all of this away now.
haul mode, I wanted to show you some stuff that I got from Target and two things that I got from Ikea a couple days ago because I'm about to put it all away. So I wanted to do a haul while it's all consolidated. So besides my dresser, I also got two little things from Ikea. The first is so random, but it's actually a robe. I have been wanting a lighter weight robe because all I have right now is like a really thick fuzzy one which is obviously very cozy, but sometimes when I'm getting out of the shower, I'm like too hot to put that on. So I wanted something more lightweight and they had this at Ikea and it's just like a very simple kind of terry cloth towel robe. It feels like a hotel robe. So I got that. And then the other thing I got is just this little three pack of silicone reusable storage bags. I've been wanting some like this and the stasher ones are so expensive. So I saw these at Ikea picked them up then from target i got some stuff for the bathroom so i just pulled this out of the dryer actually but it's a new shower curtain it's just a white kind of waffle material plain shower curtain so i'm gonna hang that up now i also got a pack of hooks for that and i got a liner i also got some towels which are in the wash right now but I got all new bath towels and hand towels and I decided to go with this green color. It's a little crazy for me. Usually I do all neutrals in the bathroom, but I don't like having white towels just because makeup, self tan, like they're inevitably gonna turn orange. So I like to have a darker colored towel and I decided to switch it up and add some color since I have like all white for the shower curtain and everything. So. A pop of green I thought would be cute and then all of my bathroom accessories that are in storage are gold so I thought the gold would look nice with the green anyway so I got four bath towels four hand towels and then I just got a bunch of essentials that I needed to stock up on so I got a pack of toothbrushes toothpaste my favorite mouthwash I got the jumbo size got some Billy razors also from Billy the shaving cream some blossers and Oh, last thing, I also got a new laundry hamper. I have a bunch of little baskets that are right here actually that are in the same felt material. So I thought I would get the matching ones. So it's all kind of cohesive. But yeah, that's everything that I got from Target. So I'm gonna put all this away now and then I have to head out soon to go back to my parents' house. I have to pack up some final things there and then I will meet the movers at the storage unit once they call me. In. It is 7 30 right now. The movers finished up and left maybe like 45 minutes ago I'm so scared to show you the state of my apartment right now. It's so Overwhelming, but I am gonna just start unpacking some boxes. I just heated up the Trader Joe's glass noodle vegetable frozen meal just for a quick din, but this is what my apartment looks like right now. I'm so scared. It's gonna be very interesting finding a place for everything But a lot of this stuff is kitchen stuff and I have like all these cabinets to work with So 
I want to just start clearing boxes out as quickly as possible. Over here, I have my shoes. The couch is there. The mirror bar cart. That's the TV in that box. There's just a lot happening. But I'm going to eat my dinner and then just start unpacking as many boxes as I can tonight. I'm honestly exhausted even though I barely lifted a finger today. The movers were incredible. I used roadway movers. I have a discount code if you guys are moving anytime soon. I'll leave it in the description box and on the screen right now. But they were amazing. Did everything for me. Like I just sat and watched and told them where to put stuff. So definitely a lifesaver. But now like this is the fun part for me i actually love unpacking because i just love like finding a place for everything especially with kitchen stuff and bathroom stuff and like the closets and everything i just love organizing it's my favorite thing ever the only challenge with this is i'm definitely working with a smaller space than where i'm coming from just because my last apartment was so spacious and now it's definitely a tighter squeeze here so again maximizing storage if i need to get rid of stuff i will also kind of a bummer the bedroom doesn't fit my bed and my two nightstands i thought it would but i didn't measure to see if that would work i just assumed a queen bed and two nightstands would fit but it's just a little too small so i don't really want to have one nightstand like i just feel like that would look weird so i think i'm gonna have to get rid of my current nightstands and get skinnier ones because the ones i have right now are really wide i'm gonna keep an eye on facebook marketplace over the next like week or so and see if i can snag any on there i feel like that would be easy to find on facebook marketplace definitely a bummer because i was not anticipating having to buy nightstands but that's also my fault for not measuring that is the update i'm gonna eat my dinner i had to open one box to get silverware out because i realized i didn't have a fork but luckily i labeled all my boxes really well when i moved out so i knew which box had silverware in it gonna eat my dinner and then start unpacking It is now Wednesday. Yesterday, I just like went into full focus mode and unpacked all of the boxes that were in here. You don't realize how much stuff you have until you move because everything's like tucked away in cabinets and drawers. But then when you see it all in boxes, it puts into perspective how much stuff you have. So I got through almost all the boxes. I think I have one, two, three, four, five left but the kitchen is looking good i'll show you all of the cabinets and how i organized everything these shelves are still a work in progress but i put all of my glassware up there and just some random books that i already had i kind of want to switch some of these out and maybe rearrange but this will work for now over in this cabinet i have my dishes love this acrylic riser thing so that you can maximize one shelf a little bit more so i have my dishes water glasses and coffee mugs and then some random bowls and stuff up there down here i put my keurig and my fruit bowl and then over here in this cabinet this is gonna be like the pantry so it's kind of organized i need to get more spices because i got rid of a lot when i moved last time because they were just old so i need to stock back up then i have all my tupperware on the top up here i have my air fryer and then some random stuff over there this cabinet i have my coffee my vitamins some water bottles mixing bowls etc on the counter here i have my knives my toaster down here in this drawer this is the only drawer in the kitchen which is kind of a bummer because i like to keep a lot of my kitchen tools in drawers but 
Obviously, I'm gonna use this drawer for my silverware. So I have all my silverware here, my other knife set, some random tools, scissors, etc. Then down here, this is always the hardest stuff to organize, but I think I did a pretty good job. So I have all my pots and pans. Those are my caraway ones. My Our Place pans are back there with some steamers. We have some strainers and then cutting boards here. I just have more appliances. I have my blender and my tea kettle and then extra paper products up there. So that's the kitchen. I think it's looking pretty good. It's definitely less storage space than my last kitchen. So trying to maximize storage, but I think I did a pretty good job. Then we have some bathroom updates. So I hung these little acrylic shelves on the wall here. I originally was gonna put them above the towel rack and then I drilled into something that I couldn't drill through. So I covered those holes up with this little painting and no one will ever know. Ended up putting the shelves here, which I think is fine. So I'm gonna fill these with my skincare and some hair products. And then over here, this is so satisfying. So I put my perfumes and then these little things with Q-tips and cotton rounds here. But when you open this up, look at that. That is stunning. So I just have some products here, tampons, and then like medicine cabinet stuff up there. But I just love how this looks. I still need to organize under the sink. I'm gonna put my makeup down there and maybe some more hair products and such, but things are coming together in here. It's still quite a mess in the living room and the bedroom, but I'm just trying to take things one room at a time. So we got the kitchen done, almost done with the bathroom once I put away all my products. I had someone come this morning to set up my Wi-Fi, so that's all done. Yeah, we're making progress, guys. Okay guys, a lot of time has passed and I finished setting up my living room for the most part. First off, I set up my new rug. This is from Rugs USA. I'll link the exact one down below. I originally ordered a smaller size of this rug and I laid it out and it just felt way too small in this space. So I sent it back and got the 8x10. This rug is somehow washable. I feel like it would break my washing machine if I tried to put it in there, but it does claim to be washable which is cool so yeah that's the rug and then this is obviously the couch that i had in my last apartment but then i added this ottoman so this is new everything is from articles so it's like a matching set but you buy everything separately so i got rid of my coffee table and decided to use an ottoman instead and i think it just makes the space so much cozier since the couch isn't very big and it's not a sectional i just felt like adding the ottoman made the space feel a lot cozier and I can like put my feet up and I can even move the ottoman over to be next to the couch to make it kind of like a makeshift sectional. So I love it and I just put this tray, this is super old from West Elm, on here so I can kind of have it function as a coffee table if I need to. Pulled out one of my fall pillows. And then over here, I set up the bar cart with everything that I have currently. So kind of a work in progress, but I just put all my like bar accessories, some more glassware because I have too much, and then some bottles down there and some books. I also just put Lennon and Kitty's treats here because I don't have anywhere else to put them. So that's the bar cart. And then I also put this lamp in the corner. I'm not sure if I love it here, but there wasn't really anywhere else in the space for me to put it. And then over here, you guys already saw the dresser, but I just put the TV up. Eventually, I wanna mount the TV on the wall, but I just did not have the energy or patience to attempt that today. And also, obviously this corner 
is unfinished so I'm going to get a desk for that corner eventually I've been looking at desks online and I just can't commit to one like I don't know why I just haven't found one that I really love obviously I need a pretty small desk to fit in this space but still figuring that out so I want to wait to mount the TV until I have the desk and everything set up just in case I need to shift things over depending on the size of the desk so the TV will sit up here for now, but so happy to have this set up and my Wi-Fi set up now so I can actually watch things on here. And then, yeah, this corner is still a work in progress. So these are the last boxes that I have. Some of this stuff is like desk work stuff, so I can't really unpack it until I have my desk. And then this box down here is lamps. One that I had on my old desk and then two that I had on my nightstand. So I'm not really sure what I'm doing with those yet and if I'm keeping them or not. I'm basically just going to keep these boxes here until I get my desk and then I will unpack all of these and clear them out. I have this little fold out Ikea desk that I'm going to be using in the meantime for work and I'll just sit at my couch with that which is not ideal but it's fine for now. I also mounted the mirror to the wall because my absolute biggest fear is this tipping over. I think about it a lot, but she's secure to the wall, so all good there. It is Wednesday night now. I just got out of the shower, I did my skincare, and I'm getting ready for bed, but I wanted to end off this vlog here. I am absolutely exhausted. I feel like I've been going nonstop for the past five days, just with like movements and unpacking, lifting things, so my body is just dead i'm kind of low-key excited to go back to work tomorrow just so i can like sit at my laptop all day but yeah i'm back to work tomorrow after being off the past few days so it's gonna be a busy work day but then it's the weekend again so feeling good about the state of my apartment there's definitely still lots of progress to be made but i feel good it's like livable now most of the boxes are cleared out. I hope you guys are enjoying the moving content. Definitely subscribe because I will incorporate more apartment updates and vlogs to come. And make sure to follow me over on Instagram to see more of my day-to-day -day life over there. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye!